Yo guys, what's up and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make your samples actually sound like real vintage samples. So I'm going to show you how I mix these different sounds, what sounds I used and what I did for the mastering and processing. And first of all, I will play out the sample. Then after that, as I said, I will show you how I mix and mastered and processed it. And obviously which sounds I used and break down the patterns. And by the way, sorry for not uploading. My PC was completely broken. I had to get like everything new. I had to get a new interface, sound card and, and stuff like that. But now I'm back and as you can see without a face Cam, that will be the video for next week then i will have a face cam again and don't forget to follow me on my socials and yeah guys let's go So this is the sample and I haven't had that much fun making the sample in a long long time. And for the first thing that I used was contact and I used this bank, I don't know how to pronounce it. And I turned the tone a bit from like the middle to a bit softer. I didn't close the lid and this is the sample I laid down. It's actually a pretty simple sample if you remove just these notes. It's, so it's basically just a D sharp minor chord and it repeats two times. And then I have like these simple steps just that it transitions to the other chords again. And I basically just copied it and pasted it over and for the last two bars I basically just change the root notes from these chords just to make the sample not that boring and to give it a bit of variation. I randomized the velocities which you can do with Alt and R and I pressed Alt and S just to strum these chords and then I just copied them root notes and pitched them up by two octaves and this is how the finished piano pattern is sounding like. Then for the effects on this piano, I basically just had this simple EQ where I cut out some frequencies that I didn't like. Then this Abbey Road Vinyl Stereo from Waves, which is an OP plugin if you want to make them old, vintage sounding samples. Then I obviously had this RC20 just for the distortion, magnetic and the EQ. Then this Valhalla Vintage Verb where I tweaked the mix, the decay, the pre-delay and the low cut. Then this simple Soof, and as y'all know, I love this plugin and it's basically just an automatic EQ and it removes some frequencies that are too much. And I put it on a hard setting and the knob to 1.6. And then for the last thing for the piano, I had this simple EQ where I just cut out a lot of the lows, ducked some of the highs, and I ducked some of the mids and low mids as well, just to make the piano sound more vintage. Then for the next thing, and I bet it's the thing that y'all have been waiting for because this is like the most interesting part of this melody, I had this vocal from Splice, and it's a gospel choir with some organ chords, but I just EQ'd it so you can't really hear them organ chords, and I basically just time stretched it, so I brought it into time, put the D clicking mode on generic, the on stretch because it already was in key and this is how the finished vocal phrase is sounding like. Then for the effects on this vocal hook, I had this simple pretty parametric EQ just to EQ out some frequencies that I didn't really like or that were really necessary for the whole sample. Then this fruity delay too with these settings and I turned the mix to 32%. Then this simple reverb with these settings, this soothe on its default settings. Then this EQ where I cut out a lot of the lows and low mids and I ducked some of the highs or cut out some of the highs and I had a 12% in stereo. Then for the next thing I had contact again with the Evolution Infinity with the much mids preset and I don't really like using VSD guitars anymore but I just had to use one for this sample and what I did was laying down this it looks pretty complex but it is actually pretty simple those are just some filler notes and then just a D sharp A sharp G sharp and F the rest are basically filler notes and I randomized the velocities again and what I did too was playing with the channel pitch right here and with the channel volume so just to make it sound more realistic and the finished pattern is sounding like this
Then for the effects on this electric guitar, I had this effect track with the CE1 Double Boy preset. It's just in simple chorus and I had it on 80% on the mix. Then I had this simple soothe on its default settings. I just turned the knob to 0.7. Then I had this guitar amp stereo from Waves and I had the warm default preset on it. Then this soothe again on its hard setting and the knob to 0.7. And this simply Q where I just cut out some of the lows and cut out some frequencies that I didn't really like. And I panned it 31% to the left and had it 19% in mono. Then for the next thing I used this drum loop from Splice. And I basically just pitched it down by 15 because I liked how it sounded. I time stretched it, put the mode on stretch, and I left the D-click mode on transient. And this is how the finished perk loop is sounding like. Then for the effects on this perk loop, I just had the simple 3D parametric EQ where I ducked some of the lows and some of the highs and I cut out this frequency right here. Then this EQ where I just cut out a lot of the lows and low mids and a lot of the highs and high mids just to duck it more to the background and that it's not that loud. Just to leave some space for the other instruments. Then this simple soothe, I just turned it from soft to hard and the knob to 4.9. And I had this simple reverb with these settings and that's basically it, the effects for this perk loop. Then for the next thing I had this crash for my stash volume 3 which will drop very soon. So yeah, stay tuned for that. And all I really did was reversing it, load the volume, and I brought it into time. And this is how the crash is sounding like. And all I really had on this crash was this delay with these settings. Then for the next thing I used contact and I used this experimenter X bass, which is a fire bass for these type of samples. It's just a guitar bass, but it sounds very good. And all I really did was laying down this pattern. And as you can see, it's just the root notes from the piano. And I randomized the velocities. I had some filler notes right here and right there. And I tried to create like a little rhythm. And I think it worked out pretty well. And the finished bass line is sounding like this. Then for the effects on this bass, I had this simple soothe with these settings. Then this R compressor from Waves just to compress the bass a bit. And I added on these settings, I had the threshold on minus 13.9 and the ratio to 2.1. Then I had this simple decapitator with these settings. I just played with the drive, the tone, and I put the style from A to E. Then I had this simple EQ just to cut out some of the muddy lows and to lower the volumes of some frequencies. And I had it 75% in mono. Then for the intro, which is pretty interesting, I used Blice and I used the same bank that I had for these vocals. And I used this melodic loop with some vocals as well and I pitch it up by 3 then pitch it down by 12 again put the mode on stretch the declick mode on generic and I load the volume a bit and then add these four transition sounds which is the Luca did this long sweep out of my stash volume 3 as I said it would drop very soon then this reverse crash this bold color drum fill which I chopped up a bit and these piano chords which were the normal chords from the main pattern but I basically just set them right there that the intro perfectly transitions into the main melody and first of all the intro sounded like this Then for the most important thing, which are the effects on the master, I had this A1 serial control from Alex Hilton with these settings. Then this R compressor from Waves with these settings. This Every World Vinyl Serio, where I have my own preset, which is called Vintage Master. And y'all can just copy them settings. I will click on every button right here. Then this sound shifter pitch zero from Waves where I pitched it up by 5 semitones. This chroma tape from Waves again and I had it on the mastering big and open preset. Then this L1 limiter with the threshold to minus 5.7 and the out ceiling to minus 3.0. Then this simple soothe on its default settings. And then this simple EQ where I just cut out some frequencies that I didn't really like. And then after that I rendered the sample out, put the declick mode on generic, the mode on stretch and put it on the 8th mixer track. And on the 8th mixer track there is just a simple soothe on its default settings and this EQ just to cut out some of the money lows and the finished sample is sounding like this.
Okay guys, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to comment some future video ideas or just how you liked the video and if it helped you. I would really appreciate that. And as I said, next week I will have a face cam again. So don't miss out on the next week's video. It will probably be a similar video to this one. So I will give y'all some more sauce. And thank you for this crazy support. And yeah guys, see y'all.